Good morning. I'm in the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 24. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. If no one really knows what that truly means to be with Christ God Jesus all by yourself with him as him being the only true living God, Savior, and Creator all alone in your life, in your world right now, the one that we are here consumed in right now with disease and criticism and hate, lack of love, lack of patience, warring, and anything else going on that is negative. But also there is life here in this world. And that's because it's of Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. There still is love. There still is absolute patience, an absolute combination and combining of everything going on with Christ God, Jesus from his heart down here in this world to each and every one of us. If... We want to reach out to him and be with him at that moment in time and confess him as Lord, living God, Savior, and Creator all alone. And his name is Jesus. Jesus Christ, God, Savior, and Creator all alone. There is no other to go to in worship. There is none other than himself, Christ God, Jesus, the only Son, true living Son of Christ God, Jehovah, who is God, Jehovah, all alone, but his Son, Jesus is also in oneness with him and the holiness of who they all are. The Holy Spirit are all in oneness of who they are as one infinite living God all alone and our God, Savior and Creator all alone. No one else but them can be here with us always, always being with us on a moment to moment basis. There is no other way to be with him except for to worship him as living God, Savior and Creator alone. All we have to do is confess him as God, Jesus, and live our life accordingly, according to the Bible, his word in the word, the Bible that became flesh and dwelt among us. He taught his disciples. He taught then 2000 years ago to live in your worth wildness about who he is as loving, living, forgiving God deity alone. And yes, he did create us. Mankind was created by God himself only that's it no other thing happened he created man he created this world he created heaven he created everything in them and on them and around them and no one else can do what he did no one if you want to know more about these things about who he is as living god savior and creator alone your loving living god savior and creator alone go into the word of god And ask God Jesus to be with you, to give you help and understanding and guidance through his word. Go to a Christian bookstore and buy a Bible that's easier reading for you so that you can understand God's hope and love and eternal life for you with him in heaven forever. No one ever wants to really turn that down when you find out who he is as true living God, Savior, and Creator alone. He is living. He is God. He is infinite God first before he came into this world and became Jesus Christ, our God, Savior, and Creator alone, who is the Son of God, Jehovah. And yes, they are all in oneness, including the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. It says so. It's in the Bible in 1 John 5, 7. Read the Word and the book of John in the first chapter, chapter, verse 1, 2, 3, and 14. Read those two scriptures and those books. And live in your heart with Christ God Jesus. The holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, is now with each and every one of us. He is among us. And yes, he is God with us now. And the direct value of who he is as living God, deity alone, right now, in our time here on this world, in life, in expectation, in hope, and in freedom, we can be free with him in our heart, mind, soul, and spirit. And our patience will be guided, our faith will be grown, and our life can be healed in all areas of our life, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. Yes, he can do all things. He is God, living God, deity alone. Matthew 19, 26, with God, all things are possible. No one else can do what he does. No one else can do what he has done to die on the cross for the whole world, our sins. Remember, it's all in the word of God. If you doubt these things, if you doubt God, then you have no hope in your life but to live your life out among others who hate or demoralize or live in their own world of reading and thinking negatively, knowing that Jesus Christ is God, that God exists, and they don't say so. 
because they don't want to. That's their will to choose to be against God. Why? I have no idea. Why would anyone want to say no to our loving, living Christ God Jesus, who does not have any connection to the faith in our life down here except for one thing, our faith and our will to choose Him as God alone. Our will decides. Our heart and mind and thinking go forward with our heart in our life, our will in sight, and our acceptance of Jesus Christ as living, Lord, living God, Savior, and Redeemer all alone. If no one has ever told you this before, that I'm here in the willingness of who I am as God's child, His daughter, His creation, and His servant to be here in a lifelong procedure, I guess, to be here with Him, to be here in the process of growing. And it is a procedure. It's a way to know that we can accumulate all things in our life so much going forward with Christ God Jesus that we can always know we can live with Him in our life on a day-to-day basis, on a moment-to-moment basis. Yes, we can. He is with us until the end of time. He has never left us since that time when He told His disciples, I will be with you until the end of time. When He left this world, He went home to be in heaven and He sent us the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, who is with us all the time until His end of time here in this world. And that will be upon the return of Christ God Jesus, our Savior and God deity alone. There is no other to put your faith in. There are no aliens out there flying around in spaceships who really think that we're going to be with them sometime in the future because they don't exist. In the absolute knowingness and absence of who we are as a child of God, we have to know that things are in real and reality about God's Word in the book alone, the Bible. No one else can tell me these things better than Christ God Jesus. No one else can give me the words that I have in spoken value about who He is as living God, Savior, and Creator all alone. I want people to know who Jesus Christ is. I want people to know that His name is God first. Before we call Him Jesus, before we pray and ask things all in Jesus' name, His name is God. Use His name in prayer. Use His name in living, loving life in your world and knowing He is Christ God Jesus because He is a part of this world right now for a a limited amount of time that's left. Upon His return, once He leaves this world, that's it. No more life and living and love and hope or praying and asking God Jesus into your life and asking Him for forgiveness. Once He has left this world, in condemnation, and we are all with Him home in heaven, those who have confessed and truly be, believe in their heart, mind, soul, and spirit that Jesus Christ is, is living God's Savior and Creator all alone in oneness with His heavenly Father, God Jehovah, and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, as one living God, Savior, and Creator all alone. Yet three separate in the presence as still one living, awesome, infinite, God deity alone and with us forever. He is our God creator and savior and redeemer all alone forever. Praise God Jesus for that and thank him on a daily basis for what he has done for you personally. Take that personally for you. He forgave you of your sins. When you ask forgiveness for your sins and accept him as Jesus Christ, God, Savior, and Creator all alone, it's going to be fantastically awesome. Does it always work out perfectly with him in your life? No. But that's the reason why we turn inward into our heart to our, to know that when we are here with him, we know he's here to listen to our prayers, to listen to our requests. And then we say, we pray and ask this, or I pray and ask this in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And I want you to know that all of these things that I'm teaching right now is not a newness to me. It's an absolute hope and a beginning for me and many in this world who will go out and teach and preach through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, who is God with us all now, and God alone, infinite God uh, God alone. But yet the holiness of who they all are is still here with us today, right now, up until God's return, Jesus Christ, our God and Savior. If no one else can teach you these things, then listen to these sermons. Go back, choose a sermon, 
and watch me tell you about Christ God Jesus over and over and over again. It will not change in my heart and my life. It will not ever change in the sermons that Almighty God Jesus will be here and then not. He is in my life for good forever. Praise God Jesus for that. And thank you, Christ God Jesus. I want people to know that when I'm here, I mean it from my heart, soul, mind, and spirit. I am not in oneness with Christ God Jesus. I'm here in oneness with myself and in the oneness of who he is as living God, creator and savior alone with God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, who is with each and every one of us right now. That's how I hold on to my strength, my knowing that my faith is growing in him all alone because he is almighty God Jesus alone. I am his creation, his daughter, his servant, his child. So are you, his son, his daughter, his creation. Everything in our life can mean wonderful things if we meet Christ God Jesus in our life in this world on a daily basis, thanking him, praising him, and worshiping him as living God, Savior, and creator all alone. If I want more of these things in my life, I need to spend more time personally, one-on-one -on -one with God Jesus. I know that these sermons are precious to me, and they are very valuable for others around this area and this world who come into this site and listen to these sermons and find Christ, Christ God Jesus as their living God deity alone, Jesus. I want that to happen more and more. But at the same time, I want you to spend personal time with Christ God Jesus. Go into the Word of God. Start in the book of life, the New Testament. Read the New Testament. It is there to teach you and tell you about who Jesus Christ is from the time he is, is con conceived by his mother Mary and then she's there with him in pregnancy and then his birth and from there he grows into a beautiful young man heart filled with God Jesus love and that's him because he knows he is God the word who became flesh and dwelt among us read the book of John chapter 1 verse 1 2 3 and 14 it says it right there in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God he was in the beginning with God did you catch all of that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Drop down to verse 14 in the book of John, chapter 1. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Now let's go over to 1 John 5, 7. There are three who bear witness in heaven. The, word, the, excuse, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And they are one. Let me say that again. 1 John 5, 7. There are three who bear witness in heaven. The Father the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and they are one. So the Word we already know is God because it says so in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and 14, who became flesh and dwelt among us. There is no other who can say that they were the Word in the Bible, the book of life, eternal life, and became flesh and dwelt among us, who was God in spirit, but man of flesh. Who can say that? No one but Jesus Christ, the only true living God, Son of God, Jehovah, great God, the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, is here with each and every one of us to teach us, to guide us, to not leave us here barren and not knowing who God is or ever accepting his word and knowing what it means. The true value about who Jesus Christ is is right here in his word. It teaches me on a daily basis to watch for things saying anything about the Holy Spirit and the holiness of who they all are, who is the Holy Spirit, who is God with each and every one of us right now. Now I know this, that every one of us here on this world can accept Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Will we all be saved? I don't know that. I only know this. In the word of God, it says this, and Jesus spoke it, our God and Savior. He said this to his disciples, the gates to heaven is narrow, but the gates to being here left behind forever without God's presence ever in this world ever again will be very wide. So much more so than we can possibly ever imagine. It just boggles my mind to think about why people would ever deny Jesus Christ our loving living, infinite God alone, who gave his only precious life, God himself in the flesh, man of flesh, God and spirit, gave his beloved life, and God Jehovah gave his only beloved son to die on the cross for our sin, our sin. We made that choice to sin, and we still do this day. Can we help it? Yes, we can, 
but it's almost impossible to resist temptation and bad thoughts and negativity. And that's all sin. Remember, it's not impossible to do things with Christ God Jesus in our life, but it doesn't mean we can be and will be perfect in this world. There's no way we can ever bypass sin and say, now we are equal with God. We, know, we sin no more. That's not possible. Not for us here in this world, but it can be more and more gainful in our life and in our experience to know that when we are, when we are with Christ God Jesus, we can be with him in a better way that's more positive more uplifting, more grateful, more precious in the value of who he is as God deity alone and his name is Jesus with great God Jehovah and the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, as one living infinite God deity all alone. Yes, they are three in the presence as still one living infinite God deity alone, but are God's Savior and Creator all alone together in the stillness of who they are, one living God alone. It says so in the Bible. Read the book of life, the Bible. Remember, I'm here to be with me, with Christ God Jesus, as much as I can. But I can't do it every single second of my life when I'm thinking about a lot of other things, sometimes positive, sometimes not. So I'm here a lot in my life, in my heart, in my thinking, saying, I love you, God Jesus, I praise you, and I do this a lot during the day. Do I skip them, some things about Christ God Jesus in my life to know that I'm supposed to go do these things and I do it my way? Yes, I do. I'm not proud of that. But at the same time, I'm not here by myself in this world either. There are so many others in this world, in the area where I live, who love Christ, Christ God Jesus and worship him as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Praise God Jesus for that. Because if I'm held here responsible for my life in this area or in this world to do everything by myself, I'd never get it done. I wouldn't even get I wouldn't even get started barely because it's huge to be in this world. And knowing that no one else would ever be with Christ God Jesus, that's mind boggling. But instead, God Jesus says this, I have a plan. God Jesus says he has a plan. So remember, everyone in this world right now still can be saved. There are so many people in this world right now saved by Christ God Jesus. I'm not alone. Praise God Jesus for that. I know so many people right now that are saying Christ God is Jesus in their life too. Praising God, reading the word of God, helping people to understand God's word better and more and progress, helping them to progress forward in their life and personal one-on relationship with these people around them as well as for themselves, just like me and maybe you. We can do this, however that is. However God reaches into our heart, soul, mind, and spirit and says he wants us to do some certain things for ourselves and then the rest for him or many things for him, very little for us or a much or a lot for us and very little for him, it all comes together in this world about who we are. If we had a generation of people who never sold a Bible or read a Bible in their life and no one else did either, we wouldn't have the grouping that we've got right now in this world. But God, Jesus said, I have given people heart to remember that Jesus Christ is God alone. I'm one of them. I don't go out and teach behind a pulpit. I don't go out on a stage and teach, but I have given sermons, minimal, but still they are God's word. God's word is in the Bible and I just preached and I taught and I got to give myself to God Jesus at Jesus at, at that moment in time and I wasn't selling anything I just said he he exists he lives he lives with you and they all agreed one person said to themselves that they had a gift knowing that when I was there that they were going to find Jesus Christ as God and Savior even more so in their life how that was I don't know I do know this that when they are with someone who really believes, truly believes in their heart about Christ God Jesus, and they say his name so much like I have from this moment past and still will in the present and moving forward, and many have, but saying it so equally, so absolutely mind-bogglingly truthful that they said to themselves, this person has helped me to know Christ God Jesus is with me too. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to know. It's not about me. It's not about you, but it is about our personal one-on-one -on -one relationship with another person or persons that we can give this life of suggestion and humor and love and abiding in Christ God Jesus in the word of God. His book is the Bible and in his word of God, in his word, the Bible, we can understand that when we are here, 
We are here to be with him and worshiping him as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. And with that, I want you to know something. That in this verse right here, in Psalms 1624, Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Yes, we do have to deny who we are as a living child of God without him. If we give that life up and say, thank you, God, Jesus, for being with me, for helping me to be a better prayer, acknowledging you as holy, living God, deity alone, Jesus, in my life on a moment to moment basis, daily, from this moment forward, all the way through eternity, because I know you are God alone. I want you to search me and to know me and to try me and to help my doubts to be absolutely not fear at all anymore, but simply knowing that when I am with you, you are with me in comfort and in guidance and absolute control of any disease that comes into this world. We can, you can be protected from this terrible thing going on right now in this country. And remember, we are here to pray for our country, who is now America, but not much in the life and in the budding of many people's life here in this world. They are growing and growing in the life of God Jesus with them in their heart, mind, soul, and spirit. And their faith is going and growing with them. Because personally, one-on-one, -on -one, when we spend so much more time with Christ God Jesus, praising Him and worshiping Him as living God, Savior, and Creator all alone, we simply know who He is. Because it's just that easy. It's not hard to say, thank you, God Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Be with me, God Jesus. I want my name written in the book of eternal life. And thank you for forgiving me of all of my sins I have committed from this moment past and this moment forward until I'm no longer in this world, but home with you forever. I pray and ask these things in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. It's just that simple. Then pick up the Bible and start reading in the New Testament. Praise God, Jesus, for that. And ask him for help. Ask him to help you to understand and know his word better and better and better. Mark scriptures off. Perhaps you have a version of the Bible that's too hard for you to understand. So go out to a variety bookstore or to a Christian bookstore and find a Bible that's easier reading and easier to understand for you. Mark those scriptures. Memorize them. Make those scriptures work for you personally in your life. And then once you have grasped God, Jesus' word in your life, in your heart, in your soul and mind, and you're thinking to yourself, wow, I really want to go out and share this, however that might be, then do it. Do it on your own time. Do it in a precise time framed around your work or inside your work, or perhaps that will be your work. You never know what Christ God Jesus has alone just for you to be in the word, conditioning, processing, knowing and growing, absolute word and wonderful way of knowing Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. It all makes sense. It all comes together. The Word of God is wonderful, and He teaches us, and He preaches to us at the same time, and He gives us prophecy to be knowing what is going to be happening in this earth right now. His world right now is to be with each and every one of us, the best He can be, and there is no other best than Christ God Jesus' best with us. Remember, when I'm here, I'm saying his life with me is fantastically perfect, but I'm not perfect. He is perfect. So therefore, when I'm here to say these things and they don't come out exactly the way he wants them to, he says, I will get you to where I need you to be. I will get you to be where you want to be, but where you need to be because it's where he wants me to be in my wording, in my heart, mind, soul, and spirit to be giving a gift of life and love and his eternal bliss bliss is offered to each and every one of us and it's for free there is no payment down no mortgages on it whatsoever we just say thank you god jesus and move on with our life and pray and ask everything in jesus christ god's name alone remember all of the times i say in knowing this about who he is as living god savior and creator alone i say those words for a reason when i say remember it means this, he's going to give you remembrance about who he is, his living God, Savior, and Creator alone. So now I know exactly why I say remember, because I need to remember all of these things. I need to be in the holiness of who he is as Christ, God, Jesus alone, because he is God, Savior, and Creator alone. But first, 
He is God, infinite God alone. And then his name is Jesus with God, Jehovah, and the holiness of who they all are, who is God with us now. As one together in oneness, still one living God alone, but three in the presence of one living infinite God first, and then our God, Savior, and Creator all alone through eternity. Now, if you don't get all of this, don't expect yourself to go around saying it all, but memorize it, write it down if you want, and then ask God how He wants you to say it for Him, for His glory alone, and He will. And He'll give you beautiful, magnific magnific magnificent words that's going to be absolutely efficient and effective for Him being God alone in your life. I'm not perfect. I can't be perfect, but I can be with Christ God Jesus. I can do my best and give God the rest. And then when a brand new day starts, I say, here, God Jesus, take my best from yesterday, fix it and give it back to me and help me do my best again. And I pray it will be improved immense. <laughs> so thank you, God Jesus, for that. I pray and ask of this in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. And remember, when I'm here studying these words in my heart from him alone, through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, I am saying what he wants me to say. I am thinking what he wants me to think, to say what I need to say, and think it at the same time I'm thinking it. So remember, when I'm thinking these things and saying these things at the same time, I have to practice hearing God's voice, hearing his words that he has taken from my heart, my mind, and the way I think, and the words that I use to simplify it for me to understand exactly what he wants me to say and how he wants me to say it. So I understand it at the same time, giving it to you that I know that you are under understanding it the best that you can also. If that's too much to offer, if it's too much to understand, remember, it's about someone who is just here in a simplified position living with Christ God Jesus. There are many out there right now who can state themselves much better, but it's not much better or even better if they just simply say it themselves in a way that's nice. Nice to hear, nice and simply and put together really nice and formatted in such a way that they just read it and say it once they've practiced it. I never practice. I don't have to. I just give God my heart. At the moment in time, I want to sit down and be with him through a, through a sermon. I pray and ask that he, he will give me all of his words from him alone through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit, more loud, clear, and precise and to help me to put these words into a beginning, middle, and ending sermon. And then I say, I pray and ask that in Jesus Christ, God's name alone. Thank you. And then I start. I never know which scripture I'm going to be talking about. I never know what God is going to be saying to me, to be saying the value of who he is as living God, Savior, and Creator alone, knowing that he is already, but many don't think so. So I repeat myself. Remember, Jesus Christ is living God, Savior, and Creator all alone. There is no other to worship. There is no other God to be here with knowing in the knowingness of who he is and was when he lived here with us, dwelt among us, and gave his life. His beloved son, God Jehovah, sacrificed his son to be home with him in heaven forever, but also to bring back God Jehovah's children with him at that moment in time on his return. And only God Jehovah knows that day or hour. No one else. And I have those scriptures in front of me. Mark 13 and 32, Matthew 24 and 36, and Matthew 25, 13 say this. No one knows, not even the angels in heaven, about that day or hour, not even the Son, only the Father. Let me, let me repeat these scriptures, the books, chapters, and scriptures. Mark 13, 32, Matthew 24, 36, and Matthew 25, 13, all say the same. No one knows, not even the angels in heaven, about that day or hour, not even the Son, only the Father. Only God Jehovah knows that day or hour. No one else knows when God Jesus will return. But it will be in the twinkling of an eye. And the knowingness and not knowingness of who he is and the absolute deliberate will to choose not to be with him in heaven is not up to us to be valued and to know that we may be in heaven or not. For whatever worthiness or worthy that we are as a child of God, we are his. And we love our children as they are, no matter what they have done, said, or anything else that has caused sin in their life and peoples around them. We know this. If you have a child, you love them immense in value of who they are as yours, even though they go out and do critically 
bad things or ill things towards others. You may wonder why God Jesus is like, like this because he loves us so much. He loves us so much. He gave his own, he gave his own life for us. Would I be there for my child if I knew they did something horribly wrong? I would be. And I would be praying for them every single day like I do now. They are wonderful young men, grown up, wonderful people, and they love Christ God Jesus a lot. They're moving forward, and they know Christ God Jesus. But we all make mistakes. So what happens if I had a son who did something so awful that they had to go to prison, or a daughter, or someone I love very much, a wife or a husband, perhaps might have a, uh, you know, someone in prison. If I did, I would pray for my husband. Remember, every single day I would pray for them, for them to find Jesus Christ as living God, Savior, and Creator alone. It says in the Bible that even people who have murdered, who are in jail, will be in heaven. Remember these words. God is merciful. And I want you to live with these scriptures in your heart that only God, Jehovah, knows that dare hour upon God Jesus' return. That's it. No other. I also want you to remember these sites. Here they are. Twitter.com forward slash ministry with God. YouTube.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R forward slash heartline ministry. Writers ebook.com forward slash authors forward slash schoonover, S-C-H-O-O-N-O-V-E-R. Writers ebook.com forward slashing. Sheila's ministry dot tumblr dot com. Sheila is spelled S-H-E-I-L-A with an S, ministry, all one word, dot tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R dot com. Facebook.com forward slash Sheila Schoonover dot 587. You have to know that in the worthiness of who we are, we need to remember scriptures in the value of who they are and what they are meant for to be with us and for what reason. They need to be here with us in our life because God's word is the supplement of our life living here in this world filled with sin. He gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for the world's sins. That is the beloved heavenly father, great God Jehovah, who gave his only begotten son to die on the world's to die on the cross for the world's sins so that we could have everlasting life in heaven with him. That's eternal. I don't want to be eternal eternity here in this world without Christ God Jesus. And I don't want you here either. Believe Jesus Christ is living God, Savior, and Creator alone. Pray for everyone in this world on a daily basis, even those who have passed away. Yes, we can. God hasn't returned yet. With God, Jesus, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Don't take that away from our God. And don't take away the opportunity that sometime in the future, God can reach down and touch someone's heart that could have been here forever. In the end, it's his choice, his judgment. But still, prayers are heard. The prayers of a righteous man availeth much. James 5, 16. Remember, I'm here to give God's love and worthiness to you, to myself first, and then to people around me. Because when I give it to myself first, I know exactly what God's going to be saying to me sometimes. And the worthiness of who they is, he is in my life, he gives me more to say, which is beautiful and awesome. All from him through the holiness of who they all are, the Holy Spirit. God bless and have a wonderful day.